Hello, my name is Scott Neal and I'm the course instructor for NOS 110 Operating Systems Concepts and I wanted to take a few moments today to go over uh, some important items with regards to what to expect from NOS 110, talk about some of the important policies for the course, and look at the Sakai sections just so you can get a feel for what's going to be expected of you over the next 16, 17, 18 weeks or so. So, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? My hope is that by the time you've completed this course, you'll be able to discuss with me some broad fundamentals with regards to how operating systems work, including things like how to perform basic maintenance tasks, types of installations, be able to discuss the differences between server and client operating systems, and even be able to install operating systems into virtual machine environments. We'll talk more about that later. Now this course is designed to accommodate students beginning in a program of networking, computer information systems, or programming fields at Durham Tech Community College. This is not a beginner's Windows course. Now also this course is a five contact hour course which equates to a fair amount of work over the course of 16 weeks. On average you can expect one to two assignments a week and many of those assignments are going to be online labs or labs that you're going to complete on your desktop using a product called VMware Player. You're going to install VMware Player and then using an ISO file build a virtual operating system in that virtual environment and then complete the tasks associated with the labs. You'll learn more about how to do that in week two. In addition to the weekly assignments which are due each Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. you're also going to have two projects which will be due during the course of the semester. One, both of these products actually are going to be uh, three to five page essays and they're going to have some sort of presentation component, probably a YouTube video that you're going to upload to YouTube so that I have an opportunity to grade it and so that your peers can look at it and evaluate it. We're also going to have five to seven weekly quizzes and a midterm and a final exam before it's all said and done. You must complete the orientation quiz and this week's forum discussion question by the end of the week to be allowed to continue to week two or week three in the course. So if you don't want to be considered a no-show and be dropped from the course, be sure to complete the orientation quiz and the forum discussion question by this Sunday night. Now, let's take a brief uh, do a brief overview of the Sakai website so that you have an idea of where you're going to accomplish these goals. This of course is the home page for the NOS 110 website and the announcement section each week an announcement will be posted for you giving you kind of a synopsis of what's expected that week and any important details or notes that need to be considered. Sometimes I will post additional announcements like when a quiz has been up for a while and I want to give you uh, another day for the quiz or quiz time's running out or maybe the final exam's been posted. So it's important that you check your email, your Durham Tech email, on a daily basis to make sure that you are up to date and know exactly what's expected of you during the course of the 16 or so weeks. The course information section has the course syllabus, course objectives, and any other important information with regards to the course. We also have open lab hours that are available to our students and I offer these lab hours so that in the event of say something happens at home and your desktop blows up or if you don't quite understand a concept or you need some explanation or maybe you can't get that VMware player to work on your desktop come to one of these open lab sessions we do them every week multiple days a week. They're manned by lab monitors who are fairly knowledgeable and are there to help you out and make sure that you are up to par for each week for the course. Additionally, I am available to you. So if you feel that you need to see me or meet with me and have me explain some things to you, get you back on track, let me know in advance and I am more than happy to meet you during the open lab, sit down with you and spend as much time as we need to get you on track. The course content section is really the main part of the Sakai website you need to be aware of. Your Sakai website should look like this for the next couple days anyway. You have the course orientation, that's where you found this lecture hopefully, 
And in the course orientation, I give you a brief synopsis of what's expected from you over the course of 16 weeks, talks about the assignments, talks about how to use our NetLab environment, how to log in for the first time and get situated in NOS 110's NetLab environment so that you can use the labs. We talk about tests and quizzes and the orientation quiz can be found at the bottom. Please complete the orientation and look at the course syllabus in the course information section before you continue to the week one session. Once you've read the course syllabus and completed the course orientation, you can then proceed to week one, the first lesson for our course. Each week is pretty much broken down the same way. There's going to be a presentation. Either that presentation is from me, or maybe even from a guest speaker. You'll have a PowerPoint so you can go back and review the presentation and study. I have recommended readings that help give you further uh, uh, viewpoints, further discussion on topics for the week. And occasionally I'll even add some additional videos. And every other week or so you'll have a quiz and your assignments are going to be here as well. This is a reminder to make sure to do the discussion board for the week. And if you go into the assignment, you can see that the assignment here is spelled out for you. For chapter assignments, if you want to put the chapter letters in like this, in the text field, that's perfectly fine. Narratives are going to be expected to be done in Word documents. And no matter what you do, if you attach any kind of a form, Please be sure to put your name, the course number, NOS 110, and the section number 090 at the top of your sheet each and every time. If you don't do this, when I print off a bunch of them, I end up having to figure out whose is whose, and I deduct points for that. So be sure that you make sure your name is on each and every assignment that you turn in to me. Once you've completed your assignment, if you've done it in an er on a narrative or you've done a Word document and you need to upload it, you're going to want to use the upload link here in order to submit that assignment. This is the only way that I will accept assignments unless you've made some prearranged agreement with me. I cannot have assignments coming in through email and being handwritten uh, because by simply submitting them up here, I can keep track of them easier. You know where they are, you know when they've been completed, and you can see whether they've been submitted or not. So always use the attachments upload link here in each assignment in order to submit your assignments for the week. Now, in addition to the course content that you're gonna be responsible for on a week by week basis, you're also going to have week forums that are available to you. Now, in the week forums, you have week one's form that's due this week and you have a general discussion section here for any issues you may have in the course. Maybe you can't get VMware Player to work and you need some help. Or you can either email me or you can submit something in the general discussion forum and see if one of your peers can assist you. Each week you'll see a new form occur here or be added here uh, for you to complete. And in order to get the full class participation grade, you will need to complete a minimum of two forms a week. I will grade three forms a week from each student. So by the end of the week, if you do the math, I am really looking for 32 form entries by the end of the 16 week period. That means that if for some reason in week two you fail to do the forms, you can go in week three and four and do three forms. All three of those will be counted and you will get credit for them. Bear in mind, I will only give you credit for three forms a week but you're welcome to respond to as many forum discussions as you wish during the week as you choose. In the gradebook section, you will be able to go in and see your grade as it's been calculated over the course of the 16 weeks. And we also have a schedule section so you can quickly look at the schedule and see what assignments are going to be due. Now this assignment link here is best left undone. Don't even click on it. All your assignments, tests, and quizzes will be linked through the course content section for that week. 
you may find assignments that are no longer in use in the assignment section and are still posted there because they can't be removed. So avoid using the assignments section in order to complete your assignments. Instead, try to find your assignments in the week that you're in in the course content section. Well, that's it for the Sakai website. There are a couple things I do want to point out with regards to class attendance and some other policies. First off, in the forums, as I said before, I need a minimum of two forms from you a week when I've posted a form. If you miss three forms or three weeks during the course of the 16-week semester, you run the risk of being dropped from the course, as I use the form section as our means of doing attendance for this course. So remember, always do at least one form discussion each week in order to stay in the course, including this week. Also, I wanted to point out some things with regards to the course to help you out. I do accept late assignments, and please look at the course syllabus for more details about the late assignments. But in general, assignments are due at 11.59 each Sunday night. You will get 10 points off on Monday or Tuesday for a total of 20 points off, and after Tuesday I no longer accept assignments from the week before. Tests and quizzes are considered closed book unless otherwise noted, and all the tests and quizzes will have a time limit, usually a very ample time limit, for you to complete them. When you go into a test or quiz, you are only allowed to go into it once. Be sure to complete the test or quiz and submit it before you shut off your browser to ensure the test was submitted in correctly. In the event that you run into a technical issue in a test or a quiz, be sure to email me immediately. That way I have a way of going into the Sakai website looking to figure out what happened with that test or quiz and decide whether or not I wish to reopen that test or quiz for you. I reserve the right not to reopen any test or quiz that has been opened previously. And I may give you the option of, of actually coming in and doing it in person or receive a zero. So be sure to make that first time you open the quiz or test count. I hope that you will enjoy the course. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email me. I am here to help you. Please try to stay on top of the work each week so that you don't get bogged down and each of your projects will be available in week 2 and in week 9 to give you plenty of time to complete the project prior to the due date. Please don't allow the project to just sit and not be completed until a week before it's due. These projects are really designed to be taken off in bite-sized pieces and done a little bit each week until you have completed each of the projects. So. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I'm here to help, and I hope that you will enjoy the course this semester. Thanks a lot.